Good day and greetings from the Great White North. My name is Prickly Poo and welcome to day 44 of a year of change. Um, we're, we're starting up our new week. Um, we did our weigh-in yesterday and changed the water around and stuff like that. So not a lot is going to change this week. But in sort of gradually going to work our way into not really a, a super structured uh, layout, but something that will sort of help out with uh, scheduling and stuff like that, just so that we don't sort of run out of things to talk about. Um, I figured that Mondays, maybe what I'll do is we'll put up, that'll be the day that um, you know I'll have the weekend to sort of go through, see if I can find different documentaries and things like that, and I can put them up on Monday and we can talk about them that, that way. Um, I've added two or three more um, just to the recommended viewing. And that's all they are. They aren't mandatory. They're just recommended viewing. And um, if there's one about uh, just overweight people in general. There's one about the struggle with it. And then there's one about a kid. Um, he's seven years old and he's about 225 pounds. So he's in for a rough ride. Um, but I haven't watched them all the way through yet. Um, I'm in the middle of actually right now of watching a lecture from... Um, a doctor who's a molecular geneticist who did some work back in the 90s about it, about obesity and stuff. So I want to sort of take a look at that and read a little bit more before I recommend anything because it's sort of a, it's a hormone that he discovered. But I want to take a closer look at it before I go in. You can certainly take a look if you want. His name is Dr. Friedman. Um, but I haven't put it in the recommended viewing yet because I'd like to see it. And the lecture is a little dry so far. Um, but it's from, uh, I think, Berkeley? One of the programs is from uh, University of California, Berkeley, anyway. So, and then the other two are sort of a little more melodramatic documentaries. But maybe on Mondays what we'll do is I'll put those up. We can all sort of talk about them a little, little bit, and that'll sort of open things up for uh, discussion throughout the week. So, um, in addition, unfortunately, wearing the ready shirt again, I've taken steps to get something else so that it'll be a little more presentable in the future. So please forgive it for the meantime. And as you're watching this, I will be at work, and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be brave enough to try going up the hill this week. Um, I talked about this last week, I think last week or the week before, that there is a huge, big, 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 big hill um, in behind where I work, where a lot of people go to park, um, basically when there's nothing else around them. And I've only gone up there once. And it's about a 10-minute walk from the bottom of the hill to the top of the hill, for me anyway. Normal people can zip up there in three or four minutes, but it's a rough walk for me. But I'm thinking where we're, I'm going to be starting my exercise probably in a week or so. And we're going to be starting the regular exercise in a couple of weeks. Um, I might be brave and try it. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, you'll find out tomorrow how that's going to go. And uh, you'll know because I won't be able to breathe. Because last time I did it... Um, I even, I think the next morning, I was still, my lungs were still burning, my throat was burning, because I haven't done anything in so long, um, and I just walked all in one big step, and maybe that's what I'll need to do, is to take three steps and have a nap, and then three steps more, go to sleep, three steps more, have a biscuit, go up that way. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I know in my head, it's one of those things that I really don't want to go up there, but in my head, I know I should, because probably by the end of a week... Um, because I'm not walking up in the middle of the day, so I'm not walking up during my lunch or anything, because then I'm just going to be all sweaty and gross at work, which no one likes. So I figure if I go up there, I don't go anywhere on my lunch anyway, so um, if I go up there, I'm not really going to be moving it, and I don't have to go up there until the end of the day. And I figure if I do that, it's a little bit more exercise that I can obviously use, and hopefully sort of get me into the mode of starting proper exercise um, because I I have a treadmill and just like the, a lot of people including you some of you are watching this we have a treadmill it's a, an amazing coat rack and that's what it's been for the past two or three months or longer it's probably been longer um, the weird thing is though every time I use it I always feel better so I want to sort of get back into that um, and I have the time obviously um, it's just a matter of getting off my ass and doing it. So I'm hoping that by starting with the hill, um, that'll sort of get me in the mindset because I'm still, I'm on the second floor again, so I'm still taking the stairs. I'm not using the elevator, so at least that's something. And then with the hill, it's a little bit more. Um, it's not 
I know, I make it sound really daunting, and it's not, but I mean, it's a fairly steep angle. It's like 45 degrees, 50 degrees. It's really steep. Um, but, I mean, other people can go up there. They go up there all the time. I just need to sort of get into the groove of it. And I think probably after a week of going up there, then it won't be as bad. So I just need to sort of get over that first hurdle. But I will let you know how that goes tomorrow. Um, and chances are I'll still be out of breath and in lots and lots of pain. But we'll see how it goes. I probably really should start it. And I think I, I might. I'm not guaranteeing anything, though, because I don't want to come back and say, Nope, I wished out. not going to do it. So, but I'm going to really think hard about it to see if I should, because I know I have to get there eventually, and I'd much rather start now so that it becomes part of my routine. Um, like taking the stairs in that routine, I don't even think about it. It's just that's, it's much faster for me to get up to the, to where I need to be. Um, so I'm hoping that the hill is just going to be that way too, and saves me from worrying about getting a parking spot as well because if I can go up I would grab the first parking spot that's up there because no one else is going to be up there um so at least there's that but um I'm rambling and yeah I really shouldn't so there's not a lot that I'm going to talk about um there's no real topic that I have in mind right now other than you know sort of gradually shifting things away from the really heavy topic topic topics topics that we've had over the past few weeks um, I'm sure that there are going to be some more that we bring up from time to time, but I don't want to have it so that every day is, um, you know, a rant or me lecturing on something or anything like that. Because originally this was designed to be um, sort of a, a diary and showing you how I'm progressing so that you can follow along with me and we can do all the stuff together. And I think it's sort of turned into a little bit more of a... Um, just sort of a standard weight loss. Oh, here are some tips and you need to do this and need to do that. And although I do think it's very, very important and I'm very glad that we did that, I don't want to make that the focus of it. Um, so I might drop those back, like the preachy bits, maybe to one day every week that will have a topic that we talk about. Um, and it probably would be smarter to do that at the beginning of the week. That way you have the entire week to talk about it and then maybe Fridays we would do the documentaries. We'll figure something out. Um, the next week is going to be a little bit all over the place. So we'll do that on Wednesday. We'll do a food thing. And I still have an embarrassing story to tell. I haven't told one in a while. So and I've got a couple of them left that I can remember off the top of my head. I'm sure I have more. Um, oh, just remember to bus one. Before I got my car, I was driving on the bus. and Or I wasn't driving it. But I was riding on the bus. There are many, many bad things that happened to me on the bus, um, not the least of which was the final thing to happen to make me get a car, because I didn't really need it. The city I, and I'm in, that I'm in, um, the bus runs right by my house, and I never really needed one, but um, I'll tell it now. Why not? It's kind of a gross story. Um, it's not an embarrassing story for me, but and it's completely unrelated, and I'm sorry, but it's a very interesting story. Um <laughs> I used to take the bus every day just to go to either get groceries or to go to work or whatever it is. And when you're on the bus, there are a number of horrible things that can happen to you. Um, I've been sneezed on, uh, people coughing, of course, um, gases coming from other areas, um, sitting in places that smell like urine because it's a bus. Um, but the worst one that happened was I got on the bus at just outside my house and gave my ticket to the bus driver, and unbeknownst to me, the only other person on the bus that was sitting about two rows back, um, well, I should say, when I first got on, you know how you sort of see things into the corner of your eye, I'm giving the bus driver the ticket, and in my head, I thought, the guy that just spit on the floor of a bus, and when you're on the bus, like, as I say, the, there's urine and sneezing and coughing, and you think it is a horrible thing, a horrible place, but don't spit on the bus. It's gross. So I'm giving um, the driver my ticket and everything, and I go to turn to go down the aisle, and I realize he hadn't spit on the floor. He had thrown up all over the floor. And what he had done is he was sitting with his girlfriend on the other side, um, and he needed to rinse his mouth out, so he had just spit out whatever was left. Really gross story. I do apologize. If you've got a weak stomach, I should have warned you ahead of time. Um, sorry. 
So that, uh, as luck would have it, though, I got off at the next stop and walked the rest of the way to get to my transfer. Um, because I'm not going to ride on a bus with that, because that was disgusting. And uh, the next day, called my bank and started working on getting a car. So, and I have a car now, and I don't have to deal with that, and my car doesn't smell bad, and it smells very nice, and if anyone gets sick, they don't get in my car. So, yeah, that's an unrelated weight loss story, but it's an interesting story nonetheless. It's a little bit gross, and I'm sorry if you're watching this first thing in the morning, and you're now sitting there with your cereal just going, Ugh, because I've talked about someone puking. Sorry. Should have really warned you ahead of time. I did say it was a gross story, I think. But if not, um, this is a gross story. I'm sorry. Um, but that is it, really. The um, It's completely unrelated, so we're going to... I'll leave that where it is. But that's not the bus story that I have. The bus story I have is one which was really stupid on my part, and just one of those things of not being aware of things that are going on in my surroundings, and I just realized I thought of a second one, which is very funny, which happens in winter. So, I have two bus stories, and then... Um, two other stories. So I have four left. So we'll talk about that at some point. And it'll be, it won't be gross. None of that, that's the gross story that I have. So, and it was unrelated to what we're doing. So anyway, um, there are some new documentaries in the recommended viewing. Uh, so if you want, go take a look at those. And, um, you know, if you're watching this right away, then they're going to be fairly new, but um, there's probably going to be quite a few in there by the time we're done. I'd like to add at least one a week. Um, I just don't want to grab something at random and throw it in there. Um, and they won't always be documentaries. Some of them are going to be like Man vs. Food. Um, there's probably... I don't think I'll do things like Hell's Kitchen um, and stuff or cooking shows, things like that. I want to sort of avoid just plain food shows. I want them to be something constructive. Uh, Man vs. Food isn't really constructive, but it sort of sticks with what we're doing, showing like this is the sort of tasks that we give ourselves when we sit down to a meal. Um, these ones are documentaries, though. As I say, there are two that are a little bit more, uh, have a little bit more showmanship. Um, and then there are a couple that are a little more medical. But there are a few as well that I'm going to be adding later on that are very dry. Uh, they're mainly lectures, some of which are from UC Berkeley, some of which are from the CDC. Um, so it's just going to depend on what you're in the mood for. Um, and if you decide to watch it, then great. You can sort of start talking about it either on their channel, because these aren't mine. These are posted on other people's channels. Um, or you can come back into ours and talk about stuff in the comments field and things like that. Again, just to sort of open up a dialogue that way. So we'll figure out the timeline later on. Um, maybe do the documentaries or the topics in the beginning of the week, just so that we have something that will carry us through. Um, of course, the comments are going to be in each video, so it doesn't really matter. Because you're just going to be talking about it there. So I don't think it really matters what day that we do this. Now that I think about it. But these are the sorts of things that I need to work out over the next couple of weeks. Just so that we have a nice... You know that when you watch a video on a Wednesday, it's going to be about this. Or if you watch something on Thursday, it'll be about this. Just so that you have something a little more structure. Um, it's not going to be perfect every time. There's going to be stuff that's going to come up if I hear something on the radio. If I see a documentary on a Wednesday. I don't really want to wait an entire week to bring it to you. Um, you know, if it's something that's relevant and pertinent to what we're talking about, then we'll bring it up right then and there. So I think that's probably a better idea. But I like to have at least a guide, a path to go on. Um, I may not follow it every single time, but at least in the long run, it'll get me to where I need to go. So I think that's it for this one. Um, I will let you know tomorrow whether or not I'm brave enough to try the hill. Um, I sort of talked about it enough now that I feel if I don't do it, I'm going to feel really embarrassed, but if I do do it, um, I may not be able to breathe for an hour afterwards, so we'll see how things go. I might just be in a grumpy mood in the morning and not want to do anything, or I might just do it as spite. So we'll see how it goes, but I will let you know. But in the meantime, thank you very, very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please poke the like button for me, and in the meantime, keep yourself warm and fuzzy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.